Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to read to you The Law of Success by Napoleon Hill. Now this is a course, so it is not something that can be done in over the next, who knows, day or so. I'm going to, this channel is going to be dedicated to reading products like this that open the human mind to their wildest dreams, uh, the things they want to achieve, um, the things that they want to do, uh, the things that they haven't even thought of doing yet. Uh, we're going to help you channel what's best inside of you and something that you may not even thought of yet. This book has helped me through a very difficult time in my life, and I thought that it would benefit others as well. Who I am is not that important, but the knowledge that I'm about to share is much more important. And we are in an age that this knowledge is not only applicable, but also detrimental to the progress of our species. Not everybody has the ability to think in a certain manner that develops them results, that help them achieve their wildest dreams. But as Rene Descartes once said, I think, therefore I am. I'm going to read to you The Law of Success by Napoleon Hill. I am not as wise as Napoleon Hill. I might not even be as wise as you. But I do believe that these words will help on whatever journey you're on. So let us begin. The first lesson is called the mastermind. You can do it if you believe you can. This is a course on the fundamentals of success. Success is very largely a matter of adjusting oneself to the ever varying and changing environments of life. In the spirit of harmony and poise, Harmony is based upon understanding of the forces constituting one's environment. Therefore, this course is in reality a blueprint that may be followed straight to success before it helps the student to interpret, understand, and make the most of these environmental forces of life. Before you begin reading the Law of Success lessons, you should know something of the history of the course. You should know exactly what the Course promises to those who follow it until they have assimilated the laws and principles upon which it is based. You should know its limitations as well as, as its possibilities as an aid in your fight for a place in the world. From the viewpoint of entertainment, the Law of Success course would be a poor second for most any of the monthly periodicals of the snappy story variety which may be found upon the newsstands of today. The course has been created for the serious-minded person who devotes at least a portion of his or her time to the business of succeeding in life. The author of the Law of Success course has not intended to compete with those who write purely for the purpose of entertaining. The author's aim in preparing this course has been of a two-fold nature, namely first to help the earnest student find out what are his or her weaknesses, and secondly, to help create a definite plan for bridging those weaknesses. The most successful men and women on earth have had to correct certain weak spots in their personalities before they began to succeed. The most outstanding of these weaknesses which stand between men and women and success are intolerance, cupidity, greed, jealousy, suspicion, revenge, Egotism, conceit, the tendency to reap where they have not sown, and the habit of spending more than they earn. 
All of these common enemies of mankind, and many more, not here mentioned, are covered by the law of success course in such a manner that any person of reasonable intelligence may master them with but little effort or inconvenience. You should know, at the very outset, that the law of success course has long since passed through the experimental state, that it already has to its credit a record of achievement that is worthy of serious thought and analysis. You should know, also, that the Law of Success course has been examined and endorsed by some of the most practical minds of this generation. The Law of Success course was first used as a lecture and was delivered by its author in practically every city and in many of the smaller localities. Throughout the United States over a period of more than seven years, perhaps you were one of the many hundreds of thousands of people who heard this lecture. During these lectures, the author had assistants located in the audiences for the purpose of interpreting the reaction of those who heard the lecture, and in this manner he learned exactly what effect it had upon people. As a result of this study and analysis, many changes were made. The first big victory was gained for the law of success philosophy when it was used by the author of the basis of a course which... 3,000 men and women were trained as the sales army. The majority of these people were without previous experience of any sort in the field of selling. Through this training, they were enabled to earn more than $1 million for themselves and paid the author $30,000 for his services, covering a period of approximately six months. The individuals and small groups of salespeople who have found success through the aid of this course are too numerous to be mentioned in this introduction, but the number is large and the benefits they derive from the course were definite. The Law of Success philosophy was brought to the attention of the late Don R. Mellett, former publisher of the Canton, Ohio Daily News, who formed a partnership with the author of the course and was preparing to re-sign as publisher of the Canton Daily News and take up the business management of the author's affairs when he was assassinated on July 16, 1926. Prior to his death, Mr. Mellett had made arrangements with Judge Albert H. Gary, who was then chairman of the board of the United States Steel Corporation, to present the Law of Success course to every employee of the Steel Corporation at a total cost of something like $150,000. This plan was halted because of Judge Gary's death, but it proves that the author of the Law of Success has produced an educational plan of an enduring nature. Judge Gary was eminently prepared to judge the value of such a course and the fact that he analyzed the law of success philosophy and was preparing to invest the huge sum of $150,000 in it is proof of the soundness of all that is said in behalf of the course. You will observe in this general introduction to the course a few technical terms which may not be plain to you. Do not allow this to bother you. Make no attempt at first reading to understand these terms. It will be plain to you after you read the remainder of the course. This entire introduction is intended only as a background for the other 14 lessons of the course, and you should read it as such. You will not be examined on this introduction, but you should read it many times, as you will get from it at each reading a thought or an idea which you did not get on previous readings. In this introduction, you will find a description of a newly discovered law of psychology, which is the very foundation stone of all outstanding personal achievements. This law has been referred to by the author as the mastermind, meaning a mind that is developed through the harmonious cooperation of two or more people who ally themselves for the purpose of accomplishing any given task. If you are engaged in the business of selling, you may profitably experiment with this law of the mastermind in your daily work. It has been found that a group of six or seven salespeople may use the law so effectively that their sales may be increased to unbelievable proportions. Life insurance is supposed to be the hardest thing on earth to sell. This ought not to be true. With an established necessity such as life insurance, but it is. 
Despite this fact, a small group of men working for the Prudential Life Insurance Company, whose sales are mostly small policies, formed a little friendly group for the purpose of experimenting with the law of the mastermind, with the result that every man in the group wrote more insurance during the first three months of the experiment than he had ever written in an entire year before. What may be accomplished through the aid of this principle by any small group of intelligent life insurance salesmen who have learned how to apply the law of the mastermind will stagger the imagination of the most highly optimistic and imaginative person. Thus ends today's reading. Those are the first three pages of The Law of Success by Napoleon Hill. This is merely just the introduction. I hope you enjoyed the reading. And uh, throughout this course, there are various quotes that uh, Napoleon Hill places before the reader and uh, in prelude to our next session and our next reading, I shall read to you the quote on page four. No man has a chance to enjoy permanent success until he begins to look in a mirror for the real cause of all his mistakes. Napoleon Hill. Thank you for joining us today. I look forward to reading to you next time. Please leave your comments uh, as this is a new channel. We'd like to know what you think. Uh, if you enjoyed the reading, please let us know. If not, please let us know. If you'd like something new, you're going to have to wait until we complete this course. I thank you for joining me. And um, one of the main reasons why I am doing this uh, is for the betterment of you so that you can have a more profitable life. If you're ready to have a more profitable life right now, and as we like to say, get the ball rolling. Just click the link below, enter your information, and we'll go from there. Feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions whatsoever. But just know that it's time for you to invest in yourself.